Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Doom 3 Blind. It's been freaking ages. I know, I'm sorry. But we're gonna crank on. Do some fangs. Why am I even using this gun? Do 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 do. Yeah, that's right. No, I'm not going over there because you are a bitch. You will likely lead me into a uh, an ambush of some kind. Okay, lots of monsters. Haha, <laughs> you shot your buddy in the back. And there's 12 of you! Slash. Four. No. Was there someone behind me? I thought there was. Whatever. Ooh. Armor shards. Not that I really needed it. Nice, but where actually was that? <laughs> oh, here, yeah, cool. And I can't actually pick anything up because I'm doing quite well so far. <laughs> that never lasts long. Gotta take a leak. It's been hours since I've relieved myself in fighting demons. Well, that really works up a thirst. And I'm going to drink out of the urinal, apparently. <laughs> hey, man. What up? Ah, shit. Yep, I'm still no better with the uh, the shotgun than I've been for the entirety of this Let's Play. And that's not going to open. Do 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 do. What am I looking at? Not the right thing, apparently. Ow. I feel like I'm taking way more health damage than I was earlier in the game. And I don't know if that's just because the difficulty has been ramped up in terms of... Uh, health damage, or if it's just... I never noticed how much damage I actually take. Hello. He's already missing a head, so my work here is done. And I think it's always because I'm hitting them on the uh, their arms. I'm never actually hitting them in the center of the torso or their head, as I should be. And I'm fast running out of health. Which, it's good to get that. Fuck! For a fat guy, you dodge fast. Slash, I just suck. Like always. PDA, cool. Fuck. What am I doing? Um. Right, what do we got? Peter Rayleigh. Oh, set that to play. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Raleigh, dated October 29th, 2145. We have exhausted all known forms of drug treatment in hopes of finding a way to abate this strange outbreak of dementia, and I have yet to receive any additional data from the psychiatrists back on Earth. Options are quickly dwindling. 
Approximately 80% of all extra pain of participants exhibit signs of mild neuroses within the first 48 hours after returning to the Within 72 hours, 75% of patients exhibit extreme signs of paranoid delusion and violence. We have isolated these cases in hopes of finding the pathogen. As yet, we can find no biological contaminants that would lead to such drastic changes in cognitive processing. It seems that whatever this pathogen is, it attacks higher brain functions and only leaves more basal functions in the lower brain stem. We witnessed that a high percentage of subjects lose ability for rational thought and communication skills, and then the physical changes become evident. Subjects in this group appear to atrophy. Skin pales, muscles become slack, bone, teeth and fingernails become almost translucent, veiny sinews of their former selves. I have never seen anything like this in my career. Our observations continue. Right, well hopefully he's got the code or something more useful than this. This is the audio log of medical supervisor Peter Rupp, dated November 1st, 2145. Patient 0432, a private Steve Jensen of the UAC Darklight Armor Corps Division, expired today at 1543 of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. This is approximately 110 hours after his return from expeditionary missions. Private Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. He was the last surviving member of his outfit. Four other squad mates, who also came back with Private Jensen, expired from injuries suffered on that last mission shortly after their return. Before his death, Private Jensen was heard screaming in both English and other languages. Something about demon hordes feasting on our souls. The other language was later discovered to be Aramaic. Due to security concerns in the area, I've secured some armaments within my office. Okay, that wasn't what I was wanting anyway, so... Making progress, Maroon? Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. Oh wait, I've not, not used a grenade for ages. Yeah, and that was so far off, it's not funny. Fuck. Oh yeah, I got 54 rockets. I think I can afford to do this. And... I'm missing so much, it's not funny. Whoa, I really burned through plasma. I gotta stop relying on it, but it's like my old faithful weapon. Okay. So that's all locked up. I guess I was going the right way. Ah, not what I wanted. Oh, hello. There. Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I... I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't... We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And hell followed him out. You have to help me first. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. 
The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. There. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Fine. I will be your fetching bitch again. What's this? Decontamination process started. I don't know if I'm supposed to be in here or not. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. I'm probably jumping the gun here. Yes, this looks like the wrong place to be at the moment. Decontamination process started. Oh, come on. Decontamination complete. Have a nice day. And I got fat fingers. <laughs> Look at those sausages holding that torch. Right, let's roll. Well, that's useful. There's gonna be something big out here. For a chain gun, this is quite slow. I would have thought wearing headphones would give you a better directional, uh, better directional hearing, but it totally fucks with mine. <laughs> what? As you can see, I'm always facing the wrong way when something attacks me. Needed that. Wait, that door just opened. There's something up there. Right. Back we go. Ah, oh, what the hell? Ah, fuck's sake. For good measure. Fucking always stuff. Yep. That was dumb. Well, that's just annoying strobe lighting effect. I need health because I am far too cavalier with my uh, with my gameplay techniques. Medical report 16-8 dated <laughs> Yesterday at 
Jensen was suffering from paranoid delusions and full-blown dementia. Treatment was unsuccessful. Initial there we go. psychiatric interviews suggested only mild psychosis with speech, motor activity, and thought processes within normal range. Paranoia being the reason. Well, well. Moving on. I unfortunately find it very hard to care about this game anymore. I'm just kind of wanting to move on and get it done. I don't know why I chose that gun. I'm sorry if I'm like totally uh, sort of boring <laughs> today, but like I said, this is this game's starting to piss me off in terms of just not being very interesting. Oh, I've got to figure something out. What the hell am I doing here? Obviously not what I want. Do I have to get up there somehow? Um. Oh, that was dumb. There we go. Alright, um, I'm going to save here because I've actually got something that urgent that came up and I need to go and do. Um, so, unfortunately I'm going to have to cut the session short and I'll try and get back to you with more Doom 3 soonish and with less of a delay than uh, this last month or so. <laughs> so yeah, even though I was bitching and moaning this session, I hope you enjoyed some of it. Um, and... Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.